What's up guys? You're welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to solve mathematical problems using your smartphone. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. If you are like me and you do not like solving mathematical problems using the manual methods, then this video is for you. We are going to look at how to use one of the coolest available technology today being our smartphone to solve mathematical problems and prevent you from spending hours and hours trying to figure out problems that you could have just solved easily. To start solving mathematical problems with your smartphone, just visit Play Store, search for the word math. You have a list of different apps that solve mathematical problems, but the one I'm particular about is Microsoft Math Solver. So let's click on that and uh, open Math Solver by Microsoft. As you enter into the Math Solver, you see there are different modes in which you can solve math using the math solver first you have the calculator mode where you can type in the problem then you also have the draw mode where you can actually hand write the problem you want to solve example let's just write a simple problem here and and see if the math solver will be able to give us a solution to it so you can see even though i made a mistake here the math solver was still able to identify the fact that that was a plus even though there was a mistake so the math solver is quite smart even when you handwrite your problems it still can identify and give you the correct solution up here now my personal favorite is scan the scan feature is in a case where you have problems handwritten on a notebook or in a textbook and you just want to have a quick idea on what the solution is you can pop up your math solver scan the problem of course, you can see that uh, it has a scanning window open. The scanning window is adjustable. So once you adjust it to fit the problem you want to solve, you can just take a snapshot of the problem. As you can see, it's scanning. It writes out the problem here and then writes out the solution. Down here, you can see the solution to that problem that we just snapped. Now, below it, you have other quizzes with respect to the problems that we have solved using the math solver you have videos that explain what the equation that we just solved is all about and other related videos based on the topic and other videos or pictures from from other sources okay similar problems from web search and other features so it's not only limited to a particular kind of problem you can use it to solve any kind of math problem let's take a shot of the next problem see it's scanning it converts the handwritten text into typewritten text and then it solves and gives us the answer and you you have the same thing below quizzes videos on the topic and other things let's go for a more simpler problem take a snapshot of that problem it scans converts it to typewritten text and then evaluates and gives us the answer and it follows the same way have quizzes videos etc now you might be wondering does it solve differential equation differentiation integration etc now let's give it a shot because i have an integral problem here now don't forget that uh, sometimes if your phone is not grabbing focus quickly you can just turn on the the phone flash you see it helps it to grab focus and then we take a shot on the problem it scans this is an integration problem it turns it into a typewritten problem and it evaluates and gives us the answer now you might be wondering what other options are available uh, let's go to settings at least so you can have an idea of what settings you can make on this app you can invite your friends you can change language in a case where the official language in your country is not english you can change it to whatever language you prefer you have appearance you can select which option whether it is on the scanning page it's supposed to start up on or in the type input page or in the draw input page that will be can be set as a start screen you have the scan you have the draw you have the type so you can select anyone I leave it at automatic so it doesn't really matter. It can start up on any of the three pages. Now that you have learned how to make use of math by Microsoft to solve mathematical problems, I wish you good luck with your academic activities. If this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.